Right now, we want to turn to your Pinpoint Weather 12 forecast. We are always Stephen Matrigano is in the Weather Center. Unusual start to the week, and then we're right back to the thick of summer. Yeah, Brian, we're looking at cloudy and cooler conditions outside, even some showers that we've been tracking. But the big story going forward is actually going to be a potential four day heat wave coming our way, which with today's weather, you wouldn't really know that's coming our way down the pipeline. So let's take a look outside and let's start with the near term here. This is the capital city of Providence. Again, cloudy day, uh, temperatures topping out in the uh, low 70s for most areas. It's been a cooler day compared to the weekend we just saw with temperatures in the 80s and uh, current temperatures in Providence around 72 dew points in the mid 60s. So it's muggy and humid and uh, we're looking at plenty of clouds around and also a few light showers making their way through the state and these will continue over the next couple of hours, but they're not going to amount to all that much. The rain is fairly light and uh, but we'll certainly take any rain that we can get. We are still in a severe drought, of course, with our deficit. Actually, for the entire month of July, we only had about less than a half an inch of rain. So we didn't reach a half an inch of rain for the entire 31 days in July. So that's pretty remarkable. And uh, we certainly do need the rain uh, temperatures right now in the upper 60s, low 70s across the area. Dew points like I've been mentioning in the mid 60s and they're slowly climbing. They're going to continue as we go through this week. Dew points will climb into the upper 60s and low 70s. So that's a measure of the humidity in the air. So when you get those dew points that high, uh, certainly feels more tropical and it'll be more of the air that you can wear is the way we describe it. Uh, so summer is returning in full force for the rest of this week and of course the heat as well. My three key things passing showers tonight ending another hot stretch coming our way again starts tomorrow and then we'll see that last into the end of the work week and also uh, just in time for the weekend that heat should subside a little bit. So uh, some good news there satellite and radar. We've had the clouds around all day even some light showers all because of a low pressure system that's been just sitting off the coast and it's moving. It's passing to us uh, to our south but luckily most of the uh, moisture at least well not luckily in terms of the drought but uh, we've had most of the rain stay offshore. We do need the rain like I've been saying so we should have uh, really hoped for that to actually hit us but that storm is passing off to our south and we're looking at improving conditions for tonight drying out as well. So let's take a closer look. Let's time things out for you uh, for the rest of this evening into tonight. Temperatures again getting down to right around 70 degrees for our lows. Then we'll see skies uh, clear on out overnight into our Tuesday and Tuesday we'll be looking at a mainly dry day. But as we go through the day, won't be surprised to see a couple showers, maybe even a pop up storm during the afternoon. You'll see what I'm showing you in just a second as we go through temperatures also getting to near 90 away from the shore, low 80s at the coastline. And you can see afternoon hours. We have a few areas of green and yellows and reds and oranges popping up, and that's the chance for an isolated storm coming in for the afternoon hours for your Tuesday. Not a washout. Not everyone's going to see a shower or storm, but that possibility is there right in through the evening hours as well before things clear on out for later tomorrow night and into our Wednesday. So let's take it back to tonight. You can see we have temperatures near 70, warm and muggy winds south or southwest around 5 to 10 miles per hour. And then Tuesday morning's forecast again, starting out dry, mild temperatures getting to the uh, mid 80s by a lunchtime. And uh, it's going to be another warm day tomorrow, actually getting to near 90 for our Tuesday. And that could be the start of a potential four day heat wave, Brian. Temperatures on Thursday looks to be the peak of the heat wave, uh, 96 degrees there on Thursday. Chance of a shower or storm Friday, same deal with the weekend, but overall the big story is that heat that we're expecting for the rest of this week. We'll enjoy the little break in the humidity and the heat tonight and then it's on. Yes, exactly. All right, we'll soak up the good sleeping tonight. Stephen, <laughs> thanks you. Rescue crews in Oregon are getting new technology.